So you're in search for an inexpensive tally prompter for recording your videos? Keep watching because on the inside of today's video, I have a fantastic option for you if you have an iPad and around £10 or $16 to spare. Hi, I'm Chris Cole and welcome to today's video where we're going to look at a relatively inexpensive option that you have for a tally prompter when you're recording videos. Now there are expensive items out there and people have elaborate setups to try and make a tally prompter for whenever they're recording videos. However, on the inside of today's video, I'm going to recommend an app and all that you need is an iPad and you have an instant tally prompter ready to set up. So now we'll go over onto my iPad. Um, I'm actually reflecting this onto my PC screen, but what I want to show you is one of the apps that I highly recommend for a tally prompter for you know when you're recording videos and um, basically I have this app on my iPad it cost me a few dollars and I prop this up or I actually have a stand for this which I can place behind my video camera when I'm recording videos and this tally prompter can basically run and I can read this I want to go across to uh, tally prompt plus and if I open up this app uh, you'll see what actually happens now, as I said, this app is very, very simple to use. It will obviously it will sync with different places for uh, you to gather your information. One of the places I believe is just let me open it up. As you can see up on the screen there, it'll either sync with Dropbox or Google Drive. So any content you upload to Dropbox or Google Drive, once you link them with this app well then you can go and pull that content down and into the app ready for you to use as a tally prompter now you can see you have different settings you can set the speed your countdown timer uh, you can mirror the text you can do a lot of different things with um, this particular app including changing the text color the font the background there's a whole heap of things that you can do now one of the things i want to show you is i'll actually press start and i'll let you, you can see the countdown happening and if this is up behind the actual camera, uh, I can see that directly behind the camera. And obviously it looks like I'm looking at the camera. And this is exactly what you see in the background. The you know the text scrolls up and it's only a matter of you reading it and it looks like you're looking at the camera. Now of course you can speed this up or you can slow this down or if you really want it you can flick it back and get it going again. One of the other things that I like about um, this particular app, it also comes with an iPhone app which is like a remote control for um, the actual, you know, the tally prompter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also fire up the iPhone app. I'm going to go back in the tally prompter. It's actually a remote control, a remote plus it's called. So if I start this again and start my app, I can basically control um, I can basically control my tally prompter or my iPad. This device, Chris iPhone, would like to connect. Yes, I do want to connect to it. Now that I'm connected, it actually reflects the, the full tally prompter onto my iPad. Now I can keep this and be kept away from it, and I can work this remotely. So if I'm a distance from the tally prompter, this app allows me to control the speed or to basically speed things up, slow things down without actually having to get up and reach to the iPad. So I highly recommend uh, Tally Prompt Plus. If you're interested in obviously recording videos, you do need a Tally Prompter and there are expensive solutions out there. Whereas with the likes of this Tally Prompt Plus app on your iPad, it only costs you a few dollars and you can see just how good a, ta uh, a Tally Prompter this particular app is. Prop it up behind your camera and let it run or obviously add your content in download it either from Dropbox or Google Drive into your iPad and you're ready to go. You have an instant tally prompter for recording your videos. So I hope you can see just how great a purchase the Tally Prompt Plus app is for your iPad. Literally what you can do then is you can prop the iPad up behind or to the side of your video camera. Then of course have the app running with your script on it and you can be reading the words that come onto the app or onto the iPad screen and people will think that you're actually looking directly into the camera and not reading. This is a very inexpensive option that you have. I generally have a second tripod that I place directly behind my camera 
and I have a, a case that I clip my iPad into. So basically this gives me a slightly better option. I'm not worried about my iPad falling over and I can set my iPad at the exact height that I want. So of course what you want to do now is check out the app, the Teleprompt Plus app. There are other options, of course there are other apps that you can use. But always remember that this is an option that you can use for a teleprompter when you're recording videos. I hope that you've liked today's video tip and as always I would love it if you would click like for the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for further great videos just like this one. My name's Chris Cole, thanks a lot for watching and I'll speak to you soon.